Hi, I'm Ben, and this is the house I built out of shipping containers. Now, I've been interested in shipping container architecture for quite some time, but I had a really hard time finding good information about how to get building permits or how much would it cost. Well, we did the research, we documented everything that we did, and now we're so excited to share with you what we learned. So check it out. Today, we're gonna build out the bedrooms. This video is sponsored by Omaze. Click on the link in the description and you'll have a chance to win your very own tiny home. In the previous episode, we showed how we did that transition from the bathroom flooring into the bedroom. There's two bedrooms in this house and each one of them is placed at the end of one of the containers. There's a queen size mattress in the main unit and a full sized in the guest unit. Now after doing that tricky detail where I blended the hexagonal tile into the flooring in the main unit, installing just the basic flooring in the guest unit was a snap. We're using a wide planked engineered flooring that clicks and locks together and has a whitewashed French oak look. In the main container I installed the board running the long way but in this little short guest unit I'm running them perpendicular to the length of the container. The floorboards come pre-cut and they do a really good job of staggering the joints but since the space is so short I had to make a lot of cross cuts. So I just started installing the pieces and using my nail gun to nail them down and my sister Jessie cut the pieces to length. I really like the idea of a cozy bedroom nook but I also want plenty of space where the Airbnb guests can store their luggage. So that's why I decided to do this raised deck just about 12 inches off the floor. I screwed two by sixes to the walls. Now remember, I have plywood in all these walls, so I have plenty of strength for the structural connection, but even so, I still made sure that I screwed through the plywood and into the studs themselves. I then used joist hangers to nail in additional two by sixes to create support for the top deck, which will be made out of plywood. I then measured the size of the deck and cut a piece of 3 quarter inch pure bond oak veneer plywood to fit. Now I want to take down the color of the oak a little bit so I used a verithane wood stain in antique white. For the front edges of the bed decks I'm going to use a piece of 3 quarter inch solid oak and I also hit this with the verithane antique white. Now the stain gives us the right look, but to protect the wood, I'm gonna coat them with two coats of verithane polyurethane. While the polyurethane is curing, I cut some five and a half inch wide trim boards to cover the front faces of the two by sixes and use my nail gun with finished nails to fasten these in place. I checked the fit of the plywood and it looked pretty good, but I did need to cut a notch out of the back of it so that you could access one of the electrical outlets. I then placed the solid oak front edge and drove in some finished screws to fasten it. I covered the heads of the screws with some wood putty. Now I kind of like the idea of taking this small space and making it even cozier. And I like the idea of sort of a modern canopy bed. So I installed a curtain rod and installed these linen curtains from Magic Linens on it. This is the bedroom where we did the drop down ceiling to accommodate the flush trimmed air handler. And the whole thing came out really cozy and there's still plenty of room to store suitcases down below. This guest unit is just under 140 square feet of interior space, and a lot of that goes towards the bathroom. That's why we put these glass doors parallel to each other, so that they can bring in lots of light, and if you open them both up, you get plenty of cross ventilation. Now before we get to the second bedroom, let's hear a word from our sponsor for this video, Omaze. Omaze is giving people a chance to win and customize their very own tiny home. That's right, you can win your very own tiny home built by Modern Tiny Living with up to $100,000 of value. And the taxes are covered too. You can fully customize this tiny home of your dreams, whether you want to add solar panels, a party deck on the roof, or even a home office. So what would you do if you won the prize? What customizations would you include? I'm starting to think that a roof deck for my tiny container house might be a good idea. Now one of the things that I like about Omaze is that they work with different charities. And for this campaign, they're working with PATH. And PATH is on a mission to end homelessness. And now more than ever, their work is saving lives. So PATH will remain on the front lines of the COVID-19 crisis to help the most vulnerable. So to potentially win your own tiny home of your dreams and support PATH, which is a great cause, go to omaze.com slash the modern home project. That's amaze.com slash the modern home project. 
or just click on the link in the description box below. All right, and now for the other bedroom. Now, if you remember in the last episode, we had some issues getting the flooring to line up with the wall. So I just covered that with a two by six and then covered the two by six with a white trim board. Now, this isn't just to hide my mistakes, although it's partly because of that. It's also to create a shelf for charging your phone. The shelf extends all the way under the platform for this bedroom, which we made mostly the same way. And this oak shelf will be right under where the outlets are. The one difference would just be that we used a nail gun to nail the plywood and oak to the two by sixes instead of screwing them. This is just a little bit easier to conceal with wood putty. Now the bed is really the only piece of furniture that fits in this room, so I imagine it'll be used for lounging, watching Netflix, and stuff like that. So I wanted to make sure that it had access to a lot of different plugs and outlets for charging phones and laptops. So I drilled a hole at the foot of the bed and installed a grommet so that you could run a nice cloth-colored power cord through the grommet and then plug it into the wall. I also added a shelf underneath the window where you could set books, a glass of water, or once again, your phone for charging. Now I know I'm gonna get a lot of people freaking out about how we didn't drill holes in the plywood deck to ventilate the mattress. Well, well, with these tufted and needle mattresses, that isn't necessary. Just as long as the surface that it's resting on isn't retaining moisture, which this plywood, which can dry from the bottom, isn't. Also, how cool are those little retro looking Conway Electric extension cords? For the first bedroom, we were going for a cozy reading nook, and for this one, we wanted to be a light, airy destination at the end of this long container. The linen duvet cover and curtains from Magic Linens really helped make this possible. All right, let's head over to the studio and talk about what's next for this series. Hi, Ben here. So, series is winding down, pretty much showed all of the building, and all we have left is a few more episodes. Now, we're gonna do one where we show a complete tour throughout the home, Maybe do a little bit of like a day in the life of, as if uh, I was living there full time. In reality, we've been having this on Airbnb for quite some time. And we've been getting some really good data about how much revenue it's generating. And we'll save that information and package that all up into what will probably be the final episode for this series, which will talk about the budget, all the construction costs, things like that, but also show return on investment through Airbnb and potential sales offers if we do decide to list it. So still probably two to three more on this container house, although that could change if we decide to add like a swimming pool or things like that. But that by no means means that we're done with this channel. Actually very excited to announce that I secured another piece of land not too far from this container home where I'll be building another house from scratch. Now this time it won't be a container house and I'm really excited about it because we've had a lot of questions and comments saying about, oh, why'd you do this? Why'd you do this? Well, now we'll get to show a whole different way to build a modern home and probably in, frankly, a much more cost efficient way since we won't be dealing with the hassle of containers. We're going to use much more conventional uh, systems for construction. So thanks again for subscribing and for watching all of these videos. I really appreciate it. The series has done way better than what I expected. The view numbers are just extraordinary considering that we launched this channel from scratch, although we had a little bit of help from the, the homemade modern audience, so shout out to you guys. But thanks for watching, and oh, if you're interested in getting the architectural plans for this container house project, there's a link to them in the description box below. Now, we've sold a ton of these. We sell them for $100, which is way less than a typical house plan. That being said, do not buy this if you think this is going to be this solution for getting you an affordable living situation. Uh, container houses are great. They can be built cost effectively, but going through financing and all that stuff is what makes it, mm, even if it is affordable, not that accessible unless you have a disproportionately large amount of money for the down payment or, or to hold as a contingency during the construction process. So. Uh, we'll be working towards more projects that are more aimed at a more affordable type of housing in the future. That's what I, my aspirations really are. Um, but for now, enjoy the rest of the Container House series. Keep your eyes open on my Instagram where I'll probably be teasing the next property and what we're working on there. So thanks again. Goodbye. Oh yeah, and one more time, don't forget to go to omaze.com slash the modern home project for a chance to win your own tiny home.